Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan the Softcore Brony. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. Since last time I got enough uh, star pieces to get the badge that I want. Mm, nothing else I really could use this chapter that's all that good, but yeah, I want the Power Plus badge because it's really, really good. Increases both hammer and jump power by one, which doesn't sound like much, but hey, it helps. <laughs> It really adds up, especially where jumps are concerned. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, rearrange my uh, badges real quick, and I'll actually meet you elsewhere real quick. Alrighty, I have all these uh, good badges on, plus these uh, useless ones, just for the heck of it. So, yeah, this is actually going to be a fairly uh, dangerous fight overall. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to try. Now, the last time I met this guy, I already had Gumbario title him, so I already know he has 50 HP and does 6 points of damage with his attack. It's really nasty. To battle! And I would like to shrink stomp you, because holy cow. Uh, cow. Now, if I get down to 5 HP, I'll be able to do a lot more damage, obviously, and I could have... a uh, Bombette do additional damage with uh, her bomb attack, but that costs some FP as well. Because yeah, even Shrunken doing half damage like that, he can still do, you know, actually that's kind of a lot of damage if you think about it, so. Oh, I didn't get him. Well darn. Yeah, he'll get a full attack in now, so. Oh, he missed! Ah! Okay, let's shrink him, why not? Or try to. It'd be nice, but I didn't do it. Excellent move, but I didn't shrink you! Sheesh! Do I now? Yeah, that's when things get a little bad, but I do want to shrink him, because now I'm going to be doing a lot more damage. But of course, I'm not going to get to shrink him. But this is kind of why I had the HP plus, because he can do four points of damage to me as long as I defend, so I can still save myself. As long as he misses, but you know, if he doesn't miss. Nice! I'm getting a very fortunate here. I'm actually, I'm gonna kill him this turn. Ooh, aren't I? Wait, aren't I? Yeah, I'm totally gonna kill him this turn. So yeah, let's shrink you if I can. Or down. Fine. So it didn't help that much. But I still survived. I got a little lucky there. Obviously, but hey. Hmm. Truly a fighter among fighters. And he gives us the third degree card, which does nothing for us except bragging rights. Oh, can I train now? I'd like to try! Alright, Goombario, what can I do now? To battle! Holy cow, he went Super Saiyan on us! Crud! Yeah, obviously. 75! Holy cow! Attack power of eight? I can't handle that. Oh man. No, he doesn't. Yeah, let's get out of here. We don't need that. <laughs> Not handling that now. Holy cow. Well, I could use the power balance. That could actually be pretty effective in this fight, but. I have skill though. Yeah, we'll take that on later, and as long as I'm here, there is another thing I didn't forget to do so far. That still involves more freaking letters, though I don't have to actually deliver them this time. But I should have some more mail. Hey, Luigi! Uh... Luigi? Luigi? Huh. Odd. Yeah, we have some from the Koopa Troopas. You guys look kind of silly in that postcard, sorry to say. 
Oh, yeah, that. Oh, cool. Yeah, I noticed that. We are but simple, Koopas. Uh, sure, I I'll do that. Looking for Chuck Quizmo, in fact. Uh, quite a lot, as it uh, so happens. So, I still have... Ten more star pieces to get from him, so I might as well do that now. I mean, I don't think there's anything I really want to buy out of it, but... Well, whatever. Might as well. Huh. First try. Sweet. Quiz! Sure! This is the boring part, I guess. Uh, gee, I wonder... Correctamundo! Alright, 21, so... Nine more to go, still! Oh, boy. Easiest is to go between here and Koopa Village. And, uh... Yeah, if he doesn't appear here immediately, which he won't necessarily... I mean, he could, but he won't necessarily... Oh, he did. But yeah, if he doesn't, then just go and kind of go back and forth between these two screens, and eventually he will appear. Simple as that. Really? <laughs> Not rugged. Simple one. He only has like two or three really hard questions so far. <laughs> or at least that I found to be kind of hard. But anyway, back to uh, Goomba Village. Because he won't appear in the same town twice in a row. There we go. Yeah, if he doesn't appear here either, just go back and forth between, uh, well, this screen and the other screen over there to make him appear. That actually took, like, five tries there. Get him to come out. Jerk. Uh, Rolf. Oh, Merlot correctly, did you? Wait, Merlot. Or is that? Wait. Hmm. Well, anyhow. Away! First try, nice. Bowser steal from the star. Really? It's the point of the freaking game! I mean, I guess you could say Princess Peach or whatnot, but that, that, that wasn't from Star Haven. Or Heaven, or, it was Haven, right? Well, whatever. Man, what took you so long? Jeez! I had to go back and forth like eight times! Uh, blue? I kind of had to <laughs> semi-guess on that one. It's like, I don't remember any of the houses being yellow. So, and that one did kind of stick out as different. So, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, then. Having the speedy spin helps. Or Cooper idolized. He idolizes, idolizes Colorado for some ridiculous reason. He should idolize Mario. I suppose, but. Onward! Show up sooner next time, man! Jeez! We want to get some plot going today. Uh, she specializes in casting spells, actually. I mean, it's her sister that's the fortune teller. Well, actually, it's kind of their grandfather who's the fortune teller more so, but I guess it's kind of the same thing with uh, Marlovely and, Mer and Merlo, huh? Well, anyway. 
sometimes I think it might be faster just to go back and forth between the two towns and, uh, and wait until I just see him. <laughs> mummy man. Pokey mummy! Mummy man. Was that a, a boss in Mega Man? Wasn't there a... Oh no, there was a Pharaoh man. That's right. Alright, almost done with this chapter anyway. Fortunately, we'll only have to do like, I think less like 10 or fewer in all the subsequent chapters. Usually fewer. Right away that time. Really? Badges. Oh, he was Merlot. That's right. I couldn't remember which one. Wait, which one was the, the grandfather? He was... What was his name? I never use his services, so I frequently forget his name. Oh, well, whatever. Anyhow. Ah, last one! For this chapter, anyway. Sure! Why not? Let us go. What do you do there in the audience anyway, Luigi? Uh, Mustafa. You kind of think about your might, but obviously Colorado didn't. I think that's just a generic Goomba in the audience, or someone that we know. Anyway? Awesome, that's 30. All done, so we can continue with plot finally, because I, I don't believe there's anything else you can do in this chapter. So, uh, or, well, the, in, through the intermezzo here. So, alright, to progress with the plots, we just need to go this way. Hey, dude. Uh, nah, I didn't. Huh? You crazy! Okay. Oh. <laughs> really? And they put you in charge of the Forever Forest that happens to be inhabited by ghosts. Huh. Uh. Well, that kind of sucks for you, doesn't it? Anyhow. Got a nice, uh, save point here, so... Nothing in the bushes here. We can jump over them, though. Hey there. Uh, fine, fine. How are you? Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, awesome. We're looking for those. Okay, awesome. Ah! Get me where? Well, anyhow, you see anything about that? Nah. Oh well. Anyhow, chapter three officially, finally. That guy. I haven't actually seen what he looks like yet, but well, here we have the Forever Forest, which is everywhere. Basically, as sort of the uh, well, the gimmick of this place is. You kind of got to pay attention to what's in the background here. Because something is always going to be a little different. That's which will be, uh, well, which will alert you as to which path you're supposed to take. Although, except for, like, the very beginning here and the very end, uh, you basically just have to go either left or right from whatever path you come on. <laughs> and you'll be there. You'll find your way there. If you had tried to come here before Chapter 3, this guy would have stopped us from going any further. Is it? <laughs> you better. 
can go back. Uh, I've got, uh, business. Yeah, this place. I guess you respect that. Yes, you do. Yeah, you'll end up back in the first area of the Forever Forest. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, yes, that's right. Yeah, it's... I think it's the only one that has something that says related to the trees like that, but I could be wrong. I don't remember everything, though. Looking around this first area, or well, second area, technically. Oh, yes, there are! Nope, that didn't work. Anyway, we got. Fu oh, I haven't even redone my badges yet, have I? Oh, I have! Oh, awesome! Okay, we got fuzzies! Again, but I'm electrical, so they can't actually do any damage to me whatsoever. Which is nice. They're always green. They got 6 HP, which is kind of annoying. Fortunately, I have all those badges equipped, so my Quake Hammer can do lots and lots of damage. Just not quite enough, which is why that HP is annoying. I couldn't even do anything anyway. Uh, could you please? Thank you. Yeah, even if I don't do anything! Because uh, I can still defend myself if I want to, but yeah, even if I don't do anything... Aha! You know, uh, these guys might make more of themselves, which is also kind of annoying. Actually, I think there is one still one more badge I haven't equipped yet. I need to check my badges real quick. Oh, perfect. Let's see, what do I have equipped? Ah, uh, I have all that? Yeah, there is one more badge that I want. Actually, no. Is there? Actually... No, I don't need it. I could use the spike shield, but it's not really that important. I could probably get rid of the pretty lucky badge or something. Honestly, there's not... This place really is not that dangerous at all. But, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's not really much else I could get rid of. Hmm. Other than maybe the speedy spin. So yeah, let's do that. And I'll put on the spike shield just in case, even though I probably won't need it. And there's always these little... Oh, not here. But... Yeah, this is... This should be the one, isn't it? I thought that was... Oh yeah, there it is. It's like, where's the eyes? <laughs> yeah, this is the one we need to... There's usually, like, a little path in some of these that you can, well, go to. I'm gonna just skip that guy, though. Because this is not one of the ones I really care about. See, once again, to the left should be how to get out of here, but... Also over here is this little path here where we can talk to this guy for no good reason, honestly. Yeah. Yes, you said that already. You said that already. Okay, forget you then. There's nothing there. See, there are... Yeah, this is the correct path right here. There should be one other new enemy around here. Somewhere, but I'm not meeting him yet, apparently. So, you know, I'm in area four. And now I want to go to the right. Which should be the correct path. Stupid fuzzies. Oh, there's the other new enemy. The Piranha Plants! Which is why I want the spike shield, but I kind of don't care at the same time. They only have 5 HP, which means I can kill them with the Quake Hammer, at least as long as I have, uh, well, 5 HP of my own. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, but the Spike Shield protects you from teeth, too, so... They smile at the fighting people. I guess so. They'd watch you, uh, or those, the, the fiery piranha plants would, uh whatever they were called, would watch you as you died in Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, but I don't care about piranha plants, because that. And these guys are just going to kill themselves on me, so... Losers! Aha! I needed that. 
Huh. Oh, there it is. It's like... <laughs> there should be something denoting this is the correct path. Now here, on the fifth path, the correct way to go is to the left. But, there is a hidden item over here to the right. If you go down this path, it has no indication whatsoever. I think. Yeah, we can just look at those. But yeah, there's no indication whatsoever that this is leads to anything. Oh, there was a, I saw a prone plant back there. But, this does lead to an item. And also, a uh, special fight. You, go away. Oh, I got a fire flower out of that. Actually, if you do happen to get that, that would be useful right now. Because, see that up there? That is an enemy we don't, we won't normally meet until... Ah. Chapter 6. The, uh... Bazap! And I should have had my... Oh, well. Oops! No, I didn't mean to do... I went to tattle. Oh, well. Fine. Jump on him. He does hit a little hard. And he also does think annoying things like that. And they totally missed. Wow. I, you're supposed to block like, every one of those attacks, as I recall. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. Monstrous bees! Which have 3 HP. Which would have been perfect to use that uh, multi-bounce. But I kind of forgot. <laughs> And they have a massive attack power of six, but... And you can be poisoned. Yeah, normally if you didn't have any attack up badges of any sort, then these guys would be able to survive uh, any of your party members except for Dubario, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, you oh, you can get shrunk by them? I completely forgot about that. Huh. That doesn't happen very often at all. You almost never see that set, or, well, any status effects other than poison in, for that matter. Hey, dizzy. Anyhow, you're basically dead now, so... Yeah, see, that's why the fire flower would be uh, useful, because... You, know, you can just kill them all with it. So I meant to tattle him, and I probably... Oh, oh, could have used that, but... I could go for full badge points right now, but I'm gonna go for a little bit more FP, because I kinda need it. Yeah, that guy's worth lots of experience points. Now, that is not why I came here. That's just something you could do if you so choose. I went the wrong way. I should have hit him with my hammer. It would have uh, been better. Yeah, I meant to come this direction. And now... Ah! The HP Plus Badge! Which I could, uh... Well, totally use with only 5 HP, but I'm not. Let's see, where's that, uh... Yeah, this is the way back. Sweet. And if not, you'll just go all the way back to area one, but it's not, so awesome. And then I just want to go back this way. This is the way we came in earlier. And... That's why I love having the, uh, being able to use the, uh, that badge. The Power Rush badge, whenever, uh, right now. It's so useful in this chapter. And that's what we're looking for. Let's see, so now we're in area six. And to get out of here, we just need to go straight to the right. Oh, wow. Shut. Oh. These enemies are so not worth experience points anymore. They're only worth one apiece already. Yeah, here at the right. Here's the correct way to go. Now we're in area 7. This is the last area of the forest. If you want to get out of here, we basically got to go straight to the other side. So either to the right or to the left. But if you go one to the right... Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's not right. I got it backwards. The exit is one to the right here. This is the exit, which is clearly marked. But if we go one beyond the exit, which there's no indicator, we have another er uh, new area we can go to. Oh, you know what? There is something else I missed out back there. <laughs> I just realized that uh, there's another one of those seeds is out there. And he... Get the... Get it! There it is. FP plus badge! Yay! What if I should go back for that now? I probably should, huh? Oh, well. Anyhow. I'll... Pr I'll 
Oh, I might use the other people's bad. I don't know. Anyhow. We are through. The Boo Mansion! Ah. We did, we did. But I kind of had to go back for that C, but maybe I'll just get it on the way back or something. Oh, actually, that would be kind of annoying. I forget exactly which area it's in. I think it's in Area 4, actually. Yeah, probably. So let's, uh, well, almost go exploring. There's still uh, this over here. Not that I really care, but I guess I could have, turn this into a pretty good item at uh, Tasty's, but... Uh, that's all over here. So yeah, we'll explore the uh, Spoo Mansion next time on Let's Play Paper Mario. Arrivederci! Oh, hi. I wasn't expecting to meet you already. I forgot about that. Ah. Wait, there are no enemies, surprisingly enough, despite being a haunted house. Okay. Does this resemble the, the house from Mario 64? I just not thought of that. I haven't played it for so long, I'm not even sure. Hey, I was expecting you to come back and, uh, you know, scare me or something, dude. Ah! 